Hello everyone, welcome to Bromach. Listen to this. For the first time, Russia launches hypersonic missiles against Ukraine. The Kinsol hypersonic missile destroyed a massive subterranean storehouse carrying missiles and aviation ammo in Ukraine. The Russian president Vladimir Putin has named the Kinsol missile a perfect weapon because it travels at 10 times the speed of sound and can overcome air defense systems. Today, we are going to do an in-depth analysis on KH-47M2 Kinzel, aka Dagger. Before all that, first you're gonna hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications. Okay, let's do this. Hypersonic projectiles are classified into two types, hypersonic cruise missiles and hypersonic glide vehicles. Hypersonic cruise missiles are a type of missile reaches its target with the help of a high-speed jet engine that allows it to travel at extreme speed in excess of Mach 5. It is non-ballistic, the opposite of traditional intercontinental ballistic missiles that is ICBM which utilizes gravitational force to reach its target. And hypersonic glide vehicle are a type of hypersonic projectile utilizes re-entry vehicles. Initially, the missile is launched into space on an arching trajectory where the warheads are released and fall towards the atmosphere at hypersonic speed, rather than leaving the payload at the mercy of the gravitational force. In hypersonic glide vehicles, the warheads are attached to the glide vehicle, which re-enters the atmosphere and through its aerodynamic shape, it can ride the shockwave generated by its own lift as it reaches the speed of sound giving it enough speed to overcome existing missile defense systems. I hope this gives you a general idea of hypersonic projectiles. Ok, let's move on to Kinzhal missile system. The Kinzhal missile is a nuclear capable hypersonic aeroballistic air to surface missile developed by Russia. The Kinzhal entered service in December 2017 and is one of the six brand new Russian strategic weapons unveiled on March 1, 2018 by Russian President Vladimir Putin. The missile is designed to target NATO warships that constitutes a threat to Russia's strategic missile systems as well as to destroy NATO missile defense system, ballistic missile defense ships and land objects near Russian borders. It is also designed to overcome any known or planned US aircrafts or missile defense systems including MIM-104 Patriot, Terminal High Altitude Area Defense and AGS Combat Systems. So, what type of missile is Kinzhal? Kinzhal is an ALBM, that means Air Launched Ballistic Missile. It is a ballistic missile launched from an aircraft. An ALBM allows the launch aircraft to stand off at long distance from its target, keeping it well outside the range of defensive weapons like anti-aircraft missiles and interceptor aircrafts. Once launched, this missile is technically immune to interception, that means it is unstoppable. The missile can be launched from MiG-31K Foxhound interceptor aircrafts, Topolov Tu-22M3M Backfire Long Range Strategic and Maritime Strike Bomber and also from Sukhoi Su-57 Felon Multi-Role Fighter Aircrafts. Ok, let's take a look at the range of this missile. I have seen it in a lot of YouTube videos that people say it has a maximum range of 2000 km. But, Please understand this, this missile is an ALBM, means it can be launched from an aircraft. So, the missile's range will be 2000 km if this missile is launched from an interceptor aircraft like MiG-31K. But, if it is launched from a long-range strategic bomber like Tu-22M3M, then the missile can reach as far as 3000 km. So, the range of the missile also depends upon the aircraft as well. Ok, let's move on to the speed category. The missile has a similar dimension as of OTK-9M723 Iskander M. The Kinzhal has a length of 8 meters and a body diameter of 1 meter 
and a launch weight of approximately 4,300 kilograms. Following the launch, the Kingsol rapidly accelerates to Mach 4, that means 4,900 kilometers per hour, and may reach speed up to Mach 10, that means 12,350 kilometers per hour. The missile uses a solid propellant rocket engine. I tried to get more information about the engine specifications, but Russia is keeping the information classified. Guys, look, at this speed, combined with missile's unpredictable flight trajectory and high maneuverability could make interception more difficult. Currently, there is no defense system to stop such a missile at this speed. According to Russian media TASS, the first Kinzhal missile was launched in the Arctic in mid-November 2019. According to reports, the launch was carried out by a MiG-31K from the Olenia Air Base. A Kinzhal missile was also launched on a ground target in Syria by a MiG-31K in June 2021. On February 20, 2022, Russia fires a hypersonic missile at an armored depot and then fires another hypersonic missile destroying a large fuel storage site on country south. So Russia is one step ahead when it comes to hypersonic weapons. The truth is, hypersonic missiles pose a new dilemma for the national defense bodies and complex air defense all around the world. That's all I have for today. If you like this video, then please like and subscribe. And it's time for me to take off. Bye everyone.